when a reality modeling competition hosted by supermodel Tyra Banks has been on the air for over 15 years, there's bound to be plenty of juicy behind-the-scenes stories. S-T-U-P-I-D, stupid. Yeah, keep clapping, stupid. Stupid. Go on. Stupid. Please. Stupid. Such is the case with America's Next Top Model, which has seen its share of drama. I have never in my life yelled at a girl like this. When my mother yells at this, it's because she loves me. I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. How dare you? Behind the makeup, bright lights, and couture, here are some little-known truths that shape the show into what it is today. Hollywood Stigma While some contestants have found moderate success after their time on Top Model, none were more successful than Cycle 3's Yaya DaCosta. The Brown University grad has a thriving acting career, having appeared on shows like Chicago Med, Ugly Betty, and All My Children. You just love this, don't you? You're holding this over me, like, like Mr. Control Freak. She even starred as Whitney Houston in a Lifetime biopic. Unfortunately, DaCosta says her top model credit didn't do her any favors. In a 2016 interview with Complex, she said, There was such a stigma in Hollywood, and people don't realize that. The stigma didn't just have to do with being a model, it was reality TV in general. You didn't talk about it. It wasn't on your resume. Cycle 11's Annalie Tipton has also found success in Hollywood, starring in the show Manhattan Love Story and appearing in films like Crazy Stupid Love and Warm Bodies. And I can't even smell. You don't smell rotten. He doesn't smell rotten. Uh -huh. Amazing. The New York Times named her as one of their five faces to watch in 2011. But in an interview with The Daily Beast, Tipton says that casting agents did not take too kindly to seeing ANTM on her resume. They do this little side head cock and go, so you were on America's Next Top Model? And in that one sentence, it just sums it up. They're saying, oh, how cute. You think you're going to act. This should be fun. Isolated from the judges. Tyra Banks often referred to herself as mama to the models on the show, but Top Model wasn't her only gig. Cycle 9's Sarah Hartshorn told Bustle, I only saw Tyra once a week, and there were a lot of us and only one of her. Angelie Preston was admittedly jaded after her Cycle 17 win was stripped away when producers found she had worked as an escort. But she does corroborate Hartshorn's story. Well, Tyra was not existent. Like, the only time we saw Tyra was at panel. When the camera stopped rolling, we don't, it's like she's a stranger. Fashion publicist and former top model judge Kelly Catrone opened up on Reddit in 2015. When asked if the judges had any mentor-style interaction with the models off screen, she set the record straight, saying, we only see them when we are doing challenges. They are actually really discouraged from trying to chat at the judges, as you can imagine. The Hotel California of Competitions It's always sad when a contestant gets the boot. They have to kiss their dreams goodbye, pack their bags, and move out of the swanky mansion they've been living in. Except Top Model didn't actually let them go home. Cycle 12 contestant Allison Harvard confessed on Reddit that after elimination, contestants are sent to a hotel, saying, Sometimes a girl would stay there for a few weeks if she was eliminated early on, and other times only a few days. Long hours and no cell phones Cycle 13's Aaron Wagner revealed on Reddit that contestants had no TV, internet, or cell phones. They did have limited access to a communal landline, but that seemed more like a source of drama than a way for the models to keep in touch with their families. I can't hear him on the phone! Wagner explained that the girls weren't even allowed to talk to each other on their downtime. The producers didn't want to miss any drama, and the editors probably didn't want to edit any more footage than they already had to. We had to film straight through 15, 18 hours without eating. It's almost like they want us to go in there angry so they can have drama. Cycle 20's Don Benjamin explained to BuzzFeed News what a typical day on Top Model was like, saying, Oh my god, we were there for like 13 hours at least every day. We'd get up at 5 in the morning, get home at midnight. Hitting the books From going green to circus freaks, each cycle of ANTM has a theme. Cycle 19 was the college edition, where all 13 contestants were pursuing higher education. It's like my baby has all grown up and has gone off to college. That's it! A college cycle! Tyra Banks told TV Guide that the theme was inspired by all the young women who regretted not getting a college degree, herself included. Early success as a model prevented Tyra from getting a college education. But Tyra went back to school, and in 2012, she graduated from Harvard's Executive Education Owner Slash President Management Program. Look at you with your big, fierce Harvard College ideas. Let me get an Ivy League booty tooch. Alter Egos Anonymous Everyone knows the best Top Model episodes are when the contestants get makeovers. From subtle changes to drastic transformations, the only guarantee is that at least one model will have a meltdown. She told me that she can cry at the drop of a hat. I look like a boy. 
With some of the models, Tyra suggested that they come up with a new name for their look. McKee, the winner of Cycle 11, entered the competition as Brittany Sullivan, while Cycle 7's Melissa Rose changed her name to Melrose. In a 2011 interview with TV Guide, Tyra revealed the most depressing alter ego of them all. I created a character and unfortunately her name is Tyra, so people think that it's me. And it's totally not. Miss J's Departure No one was ready when three longtime members of the ANTM family left the show after Cycle 18. Runway coach Miss J, creative director Jay Manuel, and photographer Nigel Barker. Tyra tweeted out fierce and love to the trio, but nearly every news outlet reported they had all been fired. In a 2016 interview with Perez Hilton, Miss J set the record straight. Listen, I was never fired, get the record straight. My oh. contract was just not renewed. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Click the list icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.